Do I introduce him? Absolutely. <laughs> as they go, but I wasn't sure what my husband's role was, so I'll welcome him now. It was the values and principles that they held dear and that they instilled into their only son. Now, values like a strong work ethic, values of faith, uh, values of, uh, of respecting others, uh, values like your handshake is enough to make a business deal, values like the only thing worth keeping in life is keeping your good name, as my dad would tell me over and over again. And so it was those values and those principles that first helped me try to excel in the classroom, wherever the classroom happened to be, a little country school, Kelly High School, and I think there were 65 in my graduating class, on to University of Missouri with my Ag Econ degree, on to law school at the University of Mississippi. Uh, it was uh, you know, those same values and principles where I grabbed my trial briefcase and went to over 50 counties across the state, uh, often knowing that that day or that week or that period of time that I was in that local community, uh, I had one job and one shot to get it right to bring justice, often justice as you've heard, uh, to people uh, whose family members had been violated by violent criminals here in the state of Missouri. And those values sustain me through that period of time. Just as those same principles and values have helped sustain me uh, through this now 12-year career in the halls of Congress. And we've done some great things together, you and I. It, it, was, it, it was taking a negative situation, one of the most horrific tragedies of your life, to turn that into a positive and build consensus. And so it, it's been fighting for our fair share of highway money uh, because there are too many white crosses that have sprouted up in the rights of way of our, of our state's highways. Uh, it's been fighting for education funding. It's been trying to help get parents involved in the education of their kids through education savings accounts, which is something that I'm proud of. Uh, it's trying to make sure that those that are perhaps physically or mentally challenged uh, have the decency of, of, and self-esteem of, of working in the workforce and that taking those obstacles out of their way that would hinder them from being able to be the most productive citizens that they can be through the Ticket to Work bill. Uh, all of these things. Obviously, I see some friends here from the agricultural community, where my roots really run deep, uh, and is trying to create domestic markets as well as markets abroad uh, so that we can add value to our raw commodities and make sure that uh, life in rural America and rural Missouri, uh, that kids that can grow up on the farm, uh, like this one, wherever she went, uh, <laughs> or her sister can make the choice that if they want to continue to live in a rural area that we have the opportunity, that Missouri dream for them. Because it shouldn't matter whether you live, you know, again, in corn, on the cornfields down in the boot heel or whether you're on the streets of Kinlock. The fact is that we have challenges here in the state of Missouri to help make sure that every kid has the chance to realize his or her greatest potential. And we've got great challenges. First of all, we have got great progress that's been made pr primarily because of the leadership of the people standing behind me. Tough choices that have been made to make sure, for instance, that we create an economic climate here that rolls out the welcome mat so that businesses look to locate here with jobs that are ready for this new century. Uh, to make sure that education money is not being withheld, but in fact education money continues to be added every year because we have to have a world-class education for those kids to have the opportunity to, to achieve uh, their, their, their potential and to find those economic jobs. Uh, Health care is a huge challenge, and as you all are grappling with those decisions even as we speak, uh, but the health care situation is something that we will have to embrace together, perhaps look at that collaborative approach uh, to make sure that, you know, that we have uh, affordable, accessible health care uh, so that the quality of your health care shouldn't be determined by your zip code in this state. Uh, that you should have high quality of care regardless of where you live in the state of Missouri. And making sure that there is a safety net for our state's most vulnerable. Uh, those are our challenges. Uh, and more importantly, for you, the, American, for the Missouri taxpayer, uh, making sure that you have a government, an open, honest, accountable government that is responsible and responsive. 
uh, to make sure that you're getting your money's worth out of us that you send to elective office. Uh, this is our task. This is our time. And if you will stand with me, I will proudly work on these challenges with you together and become the next governor of the state of Missouri.